hello everyone uh, this is suyesh here so now in this video we are going to uh, see the uh, sacral plexus okay the continuation of our lumbar plexus and it is actually in the rotating our uh, section of our pelvis uh, region and the posterior part of your thigh and the region of your uh, lower leg and the foot region okay so the nerves are rising the spinal nerves which are originating from the sacral plexus are innervating these areas okay and uh, the sacral plexus is actually located uh, just around your piriformis muscle the level is actually around the piriformis muscle and uh, just around your posterior abdominal wall okay and what are the spinal uh, nerves roots for this uh, sacral plexus is actually from l4 to s4 okay so l4 and l5 are just uh, trunk uh, because it is a connection between lumbar and sacral part so it is actually actually called as lumbar uh, lumbosacral trunk l4 and l5 and s1 to s4 is actual uh, spinal nerves contribution to sacral plexus okay so you just remember l4 to s4 okay l4 level to s4 level l4 l5 lumbar vertebra and s1 to s4 sacral vertebra okay the spinal nerves in that region so now let's begin uh, i will mark the levels here uh, so from l4 i will mark here l4 level so this one will be your l5 so next one will be your s1 s2 s3 and this one will be your s4 okay so uh, in these all spinal nerves there will be two divisions you know that uh, there is posterior division and anterior division so first i will tell you the branches which are arising from actually from your uh, dorsal division or your posterior division okay so uh, let's begin uh, first with the first branch okay so i will be telling the posterior branches so firstly i will draw the ramus for all the spinal nerves like this okay so first i am showing uh, showing the divisions uh, nerves which are arising from the posterior divisions of these uh, spinal nerves so now first branch in the section of our dorsal divisions from spinal nerves are uh, nerve 2 obturator internus okay so it is actually arising from level of our l5 s1 and s2 so we will be taking fibers from dorsal division so this blue color is actually marking the uh, branches from the dorsal division of these ramus uh, from these uh, spinal nerves ramus okay so l5 fibers from l5 s1 and s2 together will form the nerve to your obturator internus nerve to obturator internus okay so it will be supplying the muscles actually two muscles so first muscle is actually your superior gemellus gemellus muscle so this muscle is actually the rotator uh, muscle of your hip joint which helps in the rotation of your hip joint and the, by the name nerve to obturator obturator internus so second muscle is your obturator internus so don't confuse it with obturator externus because obturator externus was supplied from the section of a lumbar plexus uh, from your obturator nerve special obturator nerve okay so these are the supply for your uh, obturator internus uh, nerve so this is coming from your dorsal division now next uh, nerve which is coming from dorsal division is from our s1 to uh, from s1 fibers and from s2 fibers okay so i will be putting it here so it is called as nerve to piriformis nerve to piriformis so by the name it is clear it will be supplying the piriformis muscle okay so this much is clear now last one is from dorsal division is from uh, nerve to your quadratus femoris so this uh, nerve is actually coming from fibers from your l4 okay r4 section l5 and from your s1 okay okay so what is the name of this now this now is called as nerve to quadratus femoris quadratus femoris and it will be supplying actually two muscles first one is your inferior gemellus and second one is by the name quadratus femoris quadratus femoris okay so these are the uh, nerves which are arising from the dorsal divisions of these spinal roots the level of these spinal roots okay so i will write here uh, the levels also for you uh, easily so this is actually coming from your l5 s1 and s2 this is coming from your s1 and s2 and this is coming from l4 s1 uh, l4 l5 and your s1 okay so these are the dorsal roots uh, dorsal divisions of spinal roots for these three nerves okay now we'll see your uh, see our anterior divisions uh, nerve roots so firstly we will begin with our uh, uh, begin with our uh, superior gluteal nerve 
okay so superior luteal nerve is actually arising from our fibers from l4 l5 l5 and s1 okay so what is the name of this nerve so this nerve is actually your superior gluteal nerve so it is a motor nerve it has no sensory supply so it is supplying two muscles gluteus uh, medius and your gluteus minimus okay many mass these two muscles of the gluteal region or butts region okay now next now from our uh, anterior division so this is actually your ventral division or anterior division this red one is, is uh, showing that these uh, nerve fibers are coming from the ventral divisions of the spinal uh, nerve roots okay so this was the first and now uh, second one is your uh, inferior gluteal nerve so this is coming just uh, one level below from l5 s1 and s2 fibers l5 so l5 and s2 fibers like this okay so this one is your inferior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve okay so this will be supplying only one muscle the left one gluteus maximus gluteus maximus and here one more muscle i, I forgot to tell you in this superior gluteal is tensor fascial artery tensor fascial artery it is also supplied by our superior glute gluteal nerve and these nerves are actually leaving your pelvis region okay so these are leaving uh, the pelvis region through your greater sciatic foramen and just going above your piriformis muscle and supplying these muscles so just remember the topography okay so uh, all the uh, nerves which are arising from sacral plexus actually leaves from the pelvis from your greater sciatic foramen uh, except your pudendal nerve which actually um, leaves from the greater sciatic foramen and again enters through your lesser sciatic foramen in the uh, pudendal region through your ischiorectal fossa lateral to your ischiorectal lateral wall of your ischiorectal fossa and reaches your perineum region okay so that is the other case but maximum all the nerves leaves the pelvis through your greater sciatic foramen and sacral plexus so the common topo uh, topography for all the nerves now uh, the another one is your posterior uh, cutaneous nerve of thigh so posterior cutaneous nerve of your thigh is arising from s1 s2 and s3 fibers s1 s2 and s3 fibers so what is the name of this nerve this nerve is posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh okay so it is actually uh, coming from inferior uh, gluteal region and reaching your posterior region of the thigh and supplying till the region of your uh, uh, calf or you can say uh, till the region of your heel heel joint okay so it is actually supplying the posterior uh, part of thigh cutaneous supply of posterior part of thigh your calf region and the from the posterior side and till your heel joint till heel joint okay so by the name it is clear it is actually supplying the cutaneous area so it is coming from s1 s2 and s3 ventral roots okay ventral divisions now next one is your uh, next one is your uh, let's see the uh, you, uh, first we will see sciatic or uh, let's see the sciatic nerve the largest nerve of the sacral plexus so this sac uh, sciatic nerve has two divisions actually so it has two fibers uh, some fiber uh, one fiber is coming from the dorsal division and one fiber is coming from the anterior division okay so i will show with uh, other colors okay so uh, the first one uh, which is coming from the dorsal side is your perineal uh, common perineal branch okay so this is your coming from the dorsal divisions okay so this is taping fibers from l4 region l5 region s1 region and from s2 region okay like this i will show you here and this red ones these are your tbl part of your sciatic nerve okay and these are taking fibers from l4 l5 s1 s2 and s3 okay it is taking till s2 from the dorsal division this is taking from the ventral division so these they both now merge together okay and the common is uh, common is called as sciatic nerve okay so this is actually your uh, sciatic nerve okay so i will write here uh, both the branches this blue one is your common fibular nerve okay or peroneal nerve peroneal peroneal nerve okay and this red one is actually your tbl tbl nerve tbl nerve so this is from your uh, ventral part ventral division and this is from your dorsal division okay so remember this point and they both is just combined to form the sciatic nerve so let's see the supply for both of them so they will be having motor uh, this common fibula will be having the motor supply 
so motor supply will be actually in the uh, lateral uh, aspect of the muscle uh, that is your uh, peroneus longus and peroneus brevis okay and from the anterior side it will be supplying your uh, tibialis anterior tibialis anterior and it will be supplying your extensor muscle from the anterior side extensor muscles extensor muscles like extensor digitorum brevis okay so these are the motor supply what is the cutaneous supply lateral aspect uh, aspect of the thigh oh leg region lateral aspect of leg lateral aspect of leg below the level of knee till the level of your uh, you can say it as lateral foot okay uh, till the level of your uh, sole of the foot okay so lateral aspect of the leg this is the sole of foot so this is applied for your common femoral nerve the sciatic nerve actually comes common till the region of a popliteal fossa sometimes it divides above the level of gluteal region sometimes it divides at the level of your popliteal fossa into two branches this uh, tibial nerve which is the posterior division and common femoral which is the lateral anterior lateral division okay it supplies the lateral part and the anterior muscles okay so now see the uh, tibial nerve so tibial nerve tibial nerve cutaneous supply will be actually in the posterior region posterior part of leg okay posterior part of leg and the motor supply will be your uh, posterior muscles so it can be your popliteus muscles also popliteus muscles also supply and this then it reaches to your triceps suri muscles which consists of two muscles gastric nemus and your soleus so i will write in common triceps suri and your flexor muscles flexor digitorum brevis and flexor hollis is longus okay and your hamstring muscles also in the region of your uh, posterior thigh so posterior thigh it will be also supplying cutaneously posterior thigh and hamstring muscles which you know that include bicep femoris okay bicep femoris semi tendinous semi membranous okay so these are your hamstring muscles and in the region of your foot it will be supplying the intrinsic muscles of foot intrinsic muscles of foot okay so this was a clear so this was your a uh, sciatic nerve so this is actually this tibial nerve is actually supplying your and they, uh, the this tibial nerve is actually supplying your posterior aspect of the leg and the thigh cutaneous supply in the muscles in the posterior regions and the posterior muscles of the thigh also okay hamstring muscles and intrinsic muscles of foot and reaching the dorsum of the foot okay so we are done with the posterior posterior cutaneous common fibular okay so, and these are your short nerves inferior gluteal superior gluteal okay so uh, i think uh, this was your actually sacral plexus and there is sometimes you can consider s4 and coxial one together forms a nerve called as called as coxial plexus okay okay and it is actually supplies in the skin of your coxial region coxial region oh we are left with our uh, uh, pudendal nerve okay so oh, we are left with our pudendal nerve so pudendal nerve is actually arising from level of our s2 s3 and s4 dorsal divisions oh sorry ventral divisions so i will be showing it with red okay i will show it you here so like this not from here sorry from your s2 s2 s3 and your s4 fibers okay so this is your pudendal nerve i will show it here below okay so this one is your pudendal nerve i forgot to tell you this so this pudendal nerve actually does not exit from your pelvis it actually exits it leaves the pelvis through greater sciatic foramen and again it enters through your lesser sciatic foramen now it goes just lateral to your ischio rectal fossa okay then it enters your perineum region and there it supplies the muscles and the skin of that region okay so pudendal nerve from s2 s3 and s4 fibers ventral divisions ventral red one is ventral okay blue one is your dorsal division so uh, that's uh, specific spinal roots so uh, it will be supplying in the cutaneous area you can say it will be posterior part of scrotum posterior skin of scrotum okay and there will be dorsal uh, nerve to your penis and clitoris dorsal nerve to special nerve the name is special dorsal nerve to clitoris 
in females and penis in males okay and uh, vagina also scrotum is kind of scrotum and vagina in females also vagina okay so this will be cutaneous supply and the region of your anal region and skin over your perineum okay so that all will be supplied by your cutaneous supply will be given by your pudendal nerve okay and there is a special nerve dorsal nerve to clitoris which is arising from uh, pudendal nerve as a terminal branch okay and the motor supply you can uh, there will be your uh, inferior rectal nerve okay inferior rectal nerve and these will be supplying your extent uh, extent Uh, so what is it? Anal sphincters, anal sphincters, extrinsic anal sphincter. Okay, and sometimes your levator any muscles also levator any muscle, and the uh, skeletal muscles around your perineum region. That you know you can just uh, recall that those muscles. So just remember your extrinsic anal sphincter. Okay, and uh, ex extrinsic urethral sphincter also, urethral sphincter also. okay so these are the supply cutaneous supply to the your perineum region that is the scrotum uh, skin around posterior skin you know that anterior skin was supplied by uh, your lumbar plexus of the scrotum and the dorsal nerve to your clitoris penis and vagina region so actually your genital area okay the skin around your perineum or genital area so this was your sacral plexus okay i told you the coxial plexus also okay so ischio coxial muscle is there which can be supplied from your coxial plexus okay so this was your actually your uh, sacral plexus okay let's just take the photo thank you